right, so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Good champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. Ready. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Too easy. Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. That shot is blocked by Nurmagomedov. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, big right hand, yes. Great timing on that double leg. Getting the ball here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offense. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out, he got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh, back and forth we go. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Nermanko Madoff's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Marco Medov's right back to the full mount. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Devastated body feet land. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off it. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, late round action here in Khabib Nurmagomedov, as usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponents. He is a bear on top, and I'm saying that literally. And tonight, he is showing that his strength is on another level. His opponent looks lost. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Tighter, tighter, head up. Armbar set up here. Nice setup on that armbar. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. Oh, he's out of danger. Great 
submission defense was able to take his arm off and stay safe. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. 20 seconds left. Again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, John. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going Stop. backwards, sprawling from Stop. the Stop. hips, Stop. and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so much. Nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. Took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. There it is, now he's going to mount. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Nermago Meta. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. He's got to be careful here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Nice shot to the Two minutes now to go in round two. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He passes the half. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack driver. Change the position. Nermago Medov's in half court. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Two rounds in the books. He doesn't know you have a whole nother beat. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick, and now he's just going from step to step, trying to get the finish. It's about to be over. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Landed that one. Uh, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. So Habib Nurmagomedov got out his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Habib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's going to do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true. Because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. Oh, nice change up. The judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loading people up with those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in his position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Nurmago Medov's in half court. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He's back in the clinch, but somebody does not. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. That one's not in. Nice play. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Nice straight right lands. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Beautiful strike. Clipped him with the right hand there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Another take down there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, side control now. Nermago Medov's in half guard. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice jab there by Nermago Meadow. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to finish. Oh, great submission defense. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. He passes to half guard. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Straight right is there. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Another big hit. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising 
But with this guy, he's so smart, he's so disciplined, you kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack and we haven't seen in the octagon before. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Switch kick to the body by Nurmagomedov. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're laying. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, massive kick lands flush. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that, oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. He's up. What's the missing defense on this play? Neon belly. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice jab. One more minute to go in round four. Got the hook in quickly. Great punch. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropped his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, he'll need some Motrin in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots and get back in the fight. This is bad. The only way for him to stay up right is to get a takedown. He takes one or two more of these body shots. He's going to go down. And honestly, he's as tough as they come. But you should not have to rely that much on your toughness. you got to do something different. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fight. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling is still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And 
that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Nice combination there. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Habib's back in full mount. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making. All right, so he gets back to the feet. That was seemingly the only way he could win this fight. Down the stretch we come. Down the stretch, but on the feet. He was not going to win this fight from his back. He needed to get up. That was step number one. Step two, find the finish. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Another big takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, right into side control. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, right to the mouth. Making all these shots count. Grounded him and pounding him. Nice job. These ground strikes are starting to add up. One minute to decide this one. Oh, right into the mouth. Khabib's in half guard now. Great job landing from the top position. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about Nurmagomedov's going for a choke. That guillotine is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nurmagomedov. He's having his way with him here. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, 
After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Fernando Mella. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the